Hey everyone, welcome to my 5 item challenge video with Crystal who is 301 Vandal here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how I made this bookmark with the items that she gave me. So you can see that she sent me some pom-poms, some cork pieces, um, some scraps, pieces of paper from her stash. And she also sent me this floral die cut and this bead that says beauty and, and secret. And also um, we had to pick a color for each other and she chose coral so here I am just showing you the two different colors of paint that I mixed together to create coral um, my coral was more of an orangey coral I know you can have more of a pinky coral as you can see here in the video but I added more pink to it so it's not so orange because at this point kind of looks like a flesh tone but that's not how it looks um, in person it actually has a really nice coral pinkish look to it so I'm just using a piece of mixed media paper and I'm just painting both sides but in the end I didn't really need to paint both because I only used one side that you actually see the color of the paint but that's okay. I also decided to paint some of these cork pieces that she sent me and you see later on the video I also used a sharpie paint pen in black and hot pink to color some of these up too. So now I'm just gluing down some scraps pieces of paper. Um, for this bookmark I'm going to decorate both sides and in this side I thought I was just going to leave these two pieces of paper but in the end I add more to it and I really like how it looks at the end. Um, so here I'm covering the back side of that bookmark with the rest of the paper she sent me and she has a really fun collection of paper. I really enjoyed using these scraps and deciding between which side I wanted to use. It was a lot of fun and I, I had to add the black and the whites because I love it so and I love that bobby pin scrap it's so cute it's from the um, Effector collection from We Are Memory Keepers the designer is oh I forgot her name Vin oh I forgot her name but I follow her on Instagram I really like her I just looked her up and her name is Amanda Rose Zampelli. I forgot what it was but I got it. So um, yeah, if you guys check out her blog, she's super talented and I really, really uh, love following her process and her life story. Anyway, um, so now I'm back to the front, or actually this is the back side of the bookmark and I'm just adding some more scraps pieces of paper. Crystal did a great job in challenging me for this um, challenge. She gave me some items that were really out of my comfort zone and I couldn't really use it in an art journal page because they're dimensional like these um, pom-poms so what I decided to do was make this bookmark and it just came to me one night I went, I went to bed and I just started thinking of what can I do with these pom-poms and I started thinking maybe I can thread them onto something then I thought oh maybe I'll make a bookmark so at first I really had no idea what I was gonna do and it just came to me and I went with it and it turned out really cool so I'm really happy that um, I figured out what to do with these pom-poms because they really really got me I was really stuck and at the same time I was able to use that bead by threading it through as well with the pom-poms so it came out really well and this is actually some thread that she sent me um, some ribbon in the happy mail that she sent me and I was able to use it too so that was really fun at first I was going to go purple but then I really liked the pop of the silver and I thought it went well with the white in the um, in the papers and there wasn't really any purple so I just decided to go with silver. And here I'm showing you I'm using Dilutions and then this Sweet Cherry Color Shine from Heidi Swap and then later on I get some white Dilutions as well. And the reason why I went with this Sweet Cherry is because to me it kind of looked like coral and I didn't feel like mixing up a bunch of paint again so I decided to just take this color and go with it and it turned out really cool when it dried it looks like a nice dark for coral I'm using one of my new stamp boutique images and I realized that I never actually showed me stamping a stamp boutique image before so that's why I kept this part of the uh, of the video in and I'm going to color it in really quickly with some Copics. I'm using um, a coral pinkish color and a light blue. And then I'm just coloring the flowers um, with, I think, purple and yellow as well. I did a really simple coloring here. Nothing um, too crazy. I didn't really do that much shading either. I just did a bit. I used two colors of the same color family and that was it. Because these type of images don't really need a lot of detailing um, in terms of coloring and shading. Because of the way they're drawn, I don't know, I find it super easy to color and like just a bit of 
uh, shadowing is enough and shading. I think it, it's, it, they make it really easy to color, basically. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, so her name is Dwindled and she's one of the newer releases. I decided to add some washi tape um, just to ground the paper sort of into the background and I just basically like outlined some of the uh, scraps pieces of paper that I added with this really thin black and white striped washi which is one of my favorite washies of all time and it's from Little B. I love this washi tape so much. Now so far I've used three out of the five things she gave me. And this is the fourth item, and it's a really pretty die cut. I think it's Maggie Holmes, but I have no idea. That's just my guess. And so I added it to the bottom of the back of the bookmark. And then this is just some skull like glitter tape that I had. I think Susumu sent it to me. And now for the fifth challenge item. These are the cork pieces that she sent me and like I said before, I color them in this hot pink um, Sharpie poster paint and I also color some in black and I have some from before that I painted with the coral paint. So what I'm going to do is with these is just add some onto the front of the bookmark as just like some embellishments. Now for the back of the bookmark, I had these labels that I made a while ago, um, you know, just when making different projects that I never got around to using. So I went through a few of them and I decided to pick the Hello and Dreams. Um, I didn't use these because the Hello had like a little dent and the Dreams, the A, didn't really um, show up too well. But I decided it looked pretty cool anyways in the middle of this bookmark. I really like how the black really adds like this pop of color. I really enjoy that. And now I decided to add some of those cork pieces um, to the back also just to finish it off and I added three as well. And that's it, my bookmark is done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, I really like it and um, I'm just going to show you some up close pictures of this bookmark at the end of this video and I'm also going to show you how it looks like in a book. I had a lot of fun doing this five item challenge and I really hope that me and Chris will continue with these challenges at the same time, who knows, maybe we can expand and add more people. I think that would be really fun. Um, so let me know which side of the bookmark you guys like, which one's your favorite side. And I'm just going to show you some pictures and yeah, so thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up that really helps and leave a comment if you'd like, let me know what you think and have a great day, bye!